Hi everyone, welcome back to Drew Tutorial. I'm Andrew and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to fix Windows 11 apps not opening or not running or basically any problems you're having with Windows 11 apps. Then these solutions that I'm going to share with you in this video, you should be able to use these to fix those issues. Now I'm going to share with you about five to six steps and I can guarantee that one of these will definitely fix the issue that you're facing. No, guys, before we jump into these six steps, I want to ask you a small favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button to this channel right below if you're new to this channel. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up by the end of this video if you found this video valuable. And this would be a great feedback for this channel. Now, let's get into the first solution that you want to do. Now, go ahead and click the Windows icon here in the taskbar and simply type CMD. Now, once the command prompt comes up, go ahead, right click on it and simply click run as administrator. You want to choose yes when that box pops up and then you want to simply type SFC space forward slash scan now and then go ahead and hit enter. Now, guys, this will begin a scan and this will definitely take some time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply minimize this scan and let's jump into the second solution that you can definitely try. Let me go ahead and minimize that. Now the next option that you want to do guys is simply click on the Windows icon here and simply type WS Reset. And what you want to do, you want to right click on this and you want to run this as administrator. And if that does not work guys, no, what you want to do is just simply go ahead and right click on the Windows icon here in the taskbar and go to settings. Then on this left hand side here where you see find settings search box, all you want to do is a simple type troubleshoot. You want to simply click on troubleshoot settings, select other troubleshooters. Now if you scroll down to the bottom on the other, if you can find the Windows App Store here, you want to go ahead and select it and simply click run. And that will do a run to check if there's any issues with the Microsoft App Store. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next solution, guys. Now, right click on the Windows icon here again on the taskbar and go to settings. Then you want to go to apps and here you'll find installed apps. Go ahead and select that. Now you want to scroll on to go to whichever application that is currently giving you the problem. Let's say, for example, it's the calculator, right? Now, what you want to do is just click on these three dots here and go to advance. And then you want to scroll down to where you see it's a reset. And then you want to go ahead and hit the reset button, then click reset again. And this will do a reset of that application. Now, once you do that, you want to go ahead and try the application again. And if this does not work, then let's go ahead and move on to the next solution. Now, what you want to do is just simply click on the Windows icon again and simply type Microsoft and you will see the Microsoft Store. Now what you want to do, you want to right click on the Microsoft Store and go to App Settings. And then you want to scroll all the way down to where you see it's a reset. And you simply want to go ahead and click Reset and then do Reset again. And this will do a reset of the Microsoft App Store for you. Now guys, once you do that, now you can go ahead and try again. Now guys, if this still does not solve the problem for you, what you want to do, simply go ahead and click the Windows key here. And then you want to simply type power and you will see Windows PowerShell. You want to go ahead and run this as administrator. Go ahead and choose yes. Now once the PowerShell comes up guys, you want to run a following command and I will put this within the description of this video. So you want to run this command here that you see that I paste and all I did is just right click and it literally paste it within the command shell. And this command here, you will be able to find it within the description of this video. All you want to do is just simply go ahead and hit enter. And once this is finished, you can go ahead and close the window here. Now, the next thing that you want to do, guys, is just go ahead and check to see if the scan is complete. And here you can see that the verification scan is 100% complete and Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. But in your case, if you do the scan and it will find any violation, it will definitely fix it for you. But in my case, as you see, I, I didn't have any violation and that's completely fine. Now, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and run these three commands. And as I said before, all of these commands that I will put here, you'll be able to find them within the description. So the first one is this here. I'm gonna click enter to run it. And this one is completed. I'm gonna put a second one here, click enter. 
and I'm gonna just wait for that one to complete. And this is done now. Now, what you wanna do is run the final command that I'm gonna put here within this list. Go ahead and hit enter. Once all of these is completed, guys, you want to simply go ahead and restart your computer. Now, once you restart your computer, in fact, this should fix the issue. And I'd really appreciate if you let me know in the comments below. Now, if you're facing this kind of issue, go ahead and try these solutions. And if it does work, I would appreciate if you take the time to come back to this video and let me know in the comments below. Now, guys, with that said, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. And as I said, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to see much more videos coming out every single week just like this one. <laughs>